today I found some exciting reasons to come to Auburn that I have to share with you. If you're a foodie and love to try new restaurants or boutique beer and wine destinations, then you are in for a treat. Auburn is of course where many people commence their Clare Valley adventure. This southern gateway town with quaint stone cottages and old stores really has old world atmosphere. And when you add some exciting new businesses in the main street, Auburn is hard to beat. Firstly, terroir. Loosely translated, it means sense of place and in wine terms relates to the land on which the grapes are grown, which imparts certain qualities to the wine. Executive chef and owner Dan Moss is already making his mark on the Clare Valley food scene. He's passionate about creating memorable dishes using local seasonal produce. It's basically representation of what's fresh. Uh, so three starters, three mains, two desserts. Uh, each one of those dishes are quite strong, so we try and keep the menu smaller and concise. It's basically a representation of what's uh, relevant and contemporary going on around the valley at the moment. The menu changes every week so there's always something fresh and exciting to try. Today I've got a braised lamb brick roast lamb cutlet and a beautiful mung bean and radish salad. Even though Dan's yet to blow out the candles on his 30th birthday cake, he's no newbie. He completed his apprenticeship at Jolly's Boathouse before heading abroad to work in kitchens in Germany, the UK and Canada, before realising his dream by opening up Tewa. Today I've dropped in before service, but I can just imagine how perfect it would be for a long lunch or lit up at night by candlelight for dinner. I feel it's quite untapped at the moment and things are definitely snowballing and it's just an exciting place to be when you're addicted to food and wine. And here's a tip, remember to look out for these eat local signs as you travel around the state. They signify that the business uses local produce on the menu or retails local products, keeping the money within the community. Just across the road is Hop and Vine, a brewery and cellar door that really hits the spot. Having only opened back in October, the Clare Valley Brewing Company has already developed an impressive lineup of brews, as Molly Brune explains. So we have a pale ale, a red ale, a sour and a grape cider, and then we have um, John Ray wines and Good Catholic Girl wines, and they've got um, a wide selection of whites and reds available as well. Of course, the best way to check out all that's on offer is to try a beer flight. And then the next one's the stout. So it's quite a strong beer. Yeah, yeah, it's got um, <laughs> coffee and chocolatey flavour. Oh, right. so it's really well, delicious. I like both of those. If you're after a unique gift for a beer-loving friend, well, how is this for a novel idea? They're called a growler and they come in your choice of three beers or a cider they have on offer here and they're refillable. Auburn is only an hour and a half away from Adelaide. With great food, lovely brews and wine and no shortage of enchanting places to stay, what's not to love about our beautiful Clare Valley?